I'm Marcus Limonis from Camping World, and in 2011, there are lots of new exciting things, like the Good Sam Club. But the one thing you can count on for sure is the absolute best racing in NASCAR. Welcome to the 2011 Camping World Truck Series. It's a new season, and everything gets reset. Reset to set again, to restore to zero. We reset paint schemes. We reset fire suits. We reset expectations. Rivalries. We reset attitudes. But most importantly, we reset points. It's a new season, but I'm still the champion. Welcome to 2011. America's greatest truck race comes to you from Daytona International Speedway. Welcome to the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series Next Era Energy Resources 250, presented on Speed by Goodyear. 2011 starts with a clean slate for everyone, whether you're an 18-year-old Florida native making your first ever start at Daytona, or a 52-year-old four-time champion of the series. Tonight's race is the biggest of your life, because winning at Daytona puts you in an elite class that very few can say they belong. The pageantry from Daytona adds to the war of the moment. And on that note, Let's go trackside for tonight's invocation and national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats as the Mainland High School Air Force Junior ROTC Color Guard present our nation's colors. Please remain standing as the Executive Director of the Genesis Counseling Center, Dr. Tim McNeil, offers tonight's invocation. Let us pray. Our God, we thank you for moon and stars, for lightning speed and man-made thunder. We pray for drivers and teams as they race toward the checkered flag. We pray that the spirit of competition may build character that will enable them to endure the season, to stretch forward, to reach new heights from sea to shining sea. Shalom and amen. Ladies and gentlemen, performing our national anthem, representing the Seminole Tribe of Florida and Native Music Rocks, please welcome 12-year-old recording artist from Naples, Florida, Tori Osceola. Oh, oh say, can you see by the dawn's early light what's so precious? Gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so callously streaming.
The time has come. The drivers are about to strap into their trucks. We are about to get underway with the 2011 Camping World Truck Series season. The first points race of the year. And it happens right here on Speed, the Motorsports Authority. Speed's presentation of NASCAR Camping World Truck Series is presented on Speed by Goodyear, the official tire of NASCAR. Goodyear, more driven. Brought to you in part by Camping World and the Good Sam RV Club. Everything for the new RV lifestyle, including RVs, accessories, warranties, insurance, roadside assistance, and more. And by ToyotaRacing.com. Spots of Fire 3. Spots of Fire is back, and this year the winner gets a visit from their favorite driver. Enter at ToyotaRacing.com. Welcome back to Daytona Beach, Florida. Let's go back to the grid and Chris Devota for our race storylines. What happens when you put NASCAR's Desperados on a new silky smooth surface? You are about to find out. Why should you watch this race? The three C's. This is classic Daytona. You are going to see more of the same. What about Chevy time? A Chevy has never won at Daytona, yet percentages are on their side. Nine in the top ten. Confidence, warranted or not, the new pavement makes drivers feel cocky. But is that a false sense of bravado we will soon find out and rick phil dw i'm going to leave you with this thought max pappas who barely made this race said give me 20 laps and i will be up front it's a chance at history and i'm going to take it every driver is thinking that exact thought right now thanks chris now dw are we going to see two trucks nose to tail making their way around this track i don't i think it's a, a sense of false security uh, Chris had talked about confidence. Don't be overconfident. These bumpers don't line up. I don't know, Phil. What do you think? You got? You think these guys are going to work together tonight? DW, I think they're going to work together, but not the way we've seen the Sprint Cup cars work together. They're going to work together in big packs. We're going to see two and three wide racing. Just like Chris just said, classic Daytona is what we're going to see. These guys are going to be all over the racetrack. On the apron, three wide, four wide, up against the fence. It will be great like it always is here. And we've had, we do have a lot of teammates, obviously, in this field. But we don't expect to see them working as teammates on the racetrack. Everyone's going to be gunning for that checkered flag at the end of this race. Let's get it underway. We go down for tonight's command. One of the most famous words in motorsports. Please welcome tonight's Grand Marshal, manager of renewables, Otter Tail Power, Harvey McMahon. Drivers, start your engines! The drivers are strapped in, the engines are fired, 36 trucks about to roll onto the two and a half mile super speedway. pictures and great memories of this race and we're going to be making more memories tonight it will be a memorable one aerial coverage provided by Goodyear everything we've learned making tires that help save gas and pinch pennies inspires what we roll into yours fuel max tires by Goodyear more driven perfect weather for racing we are under the moonlight as well as the lights here at Daytona International Speedway. 68 degrees and just a light breeze. I feel I'm a little bit nervous. I mean, a, a full moon always is an extra <laughs> amount. It creates trouble, creates havoc. I don't know. What do you think? I think we're going to be in good shape tonight, DW. Our starting grid is going to roll across the top of the screen. Austin Dillon continues his dominance in qualifying. This is the third race in a row for Austin Dillon, where he will bring the field to the green flag. And young James Busher will start on the outside. Take a look at our Goodyear track description of this super speedway. DW, the numbers look the same. 31 degrees in the corners, 18 degrees in the travel. But man, has this racetrack changed. This racetrack now has so much grip. Uh, and the thing, Phil, that you got to remember, 
they're running as fast or faster through the travel with 18 degrees as they are through the corners at 31 degrees. This travel is very difficult. We'll take a look at our CC's Pizza race analysis for tonight's race. See, 36 trucks will start this race. We had a full 46 trucks here attempting to qualify for those 36 spots. 100 laps, 250 miles a purse, almost 700 grand in our pit one to DW, somewhere between 32 and 37 laps. In the Camping World Truck Series, we like to get to know the drivers just a little bit better, and so we call it our Speed Spotlight. We'll shine a spotlight on a few different drivers, and Ray Dunlap, who's in your spotlight tonight? Well, Rick, I think in 2011, we may have the best class of rookies that I've ever seen in this division, and a guy that's leading that class, possibly, Parker Kligerman. He's driving the number 29 for Brad Keselowski. Two years ago, Parker almost won the ARCA Series Championship, but he didn't do much racing last year. This year, they hope to go after the title over here in trucks he'd like to get the championship or rookie of the year Hermie thanks Ray I want to take a look at Nelson PK jr. what a great opportunity he has this year to run the full season for Kevin Harvick Incorporated now he was very impressive in limited starts in 2010 but he comes into 2011 with an experienced crew chief in Chris Carrier now he qualified second but a broken left front shot caused him to get his time disallowed he was started the back of the pack so it'll be fun to watch him make his way through the pack and see how he evolves in the Camping World Truck Series. Krista? Johanna Long getting advice from her crew chief, Kevin Cowboy Starlin, as we speak. Johanna Long, the youngest competitor in this field, but she already has a big victory to her name. She won the Snowball Derby just a, over two months ago. She is on her way, and Kevin Cowboy Starlin told her to remember that this track is no different, and listen to this, than her home track, Five Legs Speedway in Pensacola. Okay, it's a little different, Phil. Krista, I want to take a look at a very talented 19-year-old California driver, Cole Wood. He had eight national championships in go-karts. He became a Red Bull Junior athlete at the age of 13. He was the youngest ever winner of the USAC Midget Championship back in 2008. He competed last year in the k and East Series. He had two poles, six top five finishes in 10 starts, and he finished fourth in points. He was scheduled to run the full season for Turn 1 Motorsports, unfortunately not able to make the field here with his truck, so he jumps in Shane Seek, truck number 93, and he will start this race from the back of the pack, DW. Phil, I'm going to look at uh, Eric Almirola. Uh, this is going to got to go the rear of the field. His time was disallowed, but this man has, is making his 75th start here tonight. He's got two series wins, one at Michigan and one at Dover. He finished second last year in the points. Here's him, uh, him and Kyle Busch getting together right out of the box in practice. Wrecked the truck, had some problems with it, didn't pass inspection, had to go to the rear of the field. He'll be running the full nationwide schedule for Dale Jr. this year. This guy's got some experience in all three series, 35 cups, 39 nationwide series, and 74 truck starts. He knows how to get to the front. We will also have some great pictures to show you tonight. We're riding along with a few different drivers, one of those being Jennifer Jo Cobb and the Ford sponsored on board. Her best finish at this racetrack, 34th, looking to improve that tonight. Let's take a look at our Toyota on board of Kyle Busch. You know every time Kyle Busch steps in a truck, he's a contender. He won the owner's championship last year. He will start his Dollar General Toyota from the 21st spot. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about why I love the 17, but the 17 is my man, and that's my number, and I'm pulling for Timothy Peters tonight, the defending champion of this race, and he told me, DW, going to make you proud. He had the Toyota sponsor camera, the Funai sponsorship being carried by Michael Waltrip with his on board, and, of course, Michael Waltrip, a two-time Daytona 500 winner. Rick, let's see if we can talk to our broadcast partner. Hey, Mikey, fill up in the speed booth. We miss you, man. He must not miss us. Mikey, you got a copy on us? We're up here in the speed booth. We miss you. Yeah, you got ODW up there? <laughs> we do have him up here. You know, between the two of us, we won 88 cup races and three championships. Yeah, how about uh, three Daytona 500s? Yeah, that too. Now we're going to try to win us a truck race. It's just been a really fun experience me getting to drive this nascar.com toyota vision airlines racing they've just been really good to me and i'm looking forward to trying this baby out mikey what would this win here tonight mean 10 years after you won your first daytona 500 and will the day that we'll all remember well it's important phil i get a little bit emotional thinking about it but uh 
good thing about having five, six hundred horsepower under the hood. Soon you're mad at it, you'll forget all that and just go back to doing what you've always done, and that's just race your butt off.